Well, hello everybody. This is Spiffy Guy back for another DIY project. And this time, we're going to make a ground sheet that will go underneath the hammock. And if I am uh, using my bug net as sort of a bug bivy on the ground, it'll be a nice little vapor barrier underneath that. So what we're using is we are using Windows insulation, which is also known as Polycryo. You can buy sheets of that stuff from uh, Gossamer Gear. And I think it's like eight bucks a sheet, but I paid like 10 bucks and I got this huge extra large window insulation kit. So we're gonna use that. And I also have some plastic bread ties that we're gonna use in our uh, tie outs along with some Gorilla Tape. So stick around and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so here's the contents of our Frost King extra large window insulation kit that we picked up at Home Depot. Now this is a two pack, so we have two sheets that are 62 inches wide and 210 inches long. And that's gonna be plenty for our project. Um, we also have some double sided tape. So what we'll use that for is to make a hem all the way around the perimeter of our sheet before we uh, add the Gorilla Tape tie outs. So first thing we gotta do is uh, spread out one of these sheets and get our measurements. Okay, so we measured out our material. I know that I need to make a four foot by eight foot section of material. So we stretched it out here with our uh, tape measure. And because this material will shrink a little bit in the sun, um, I'm gonna add an extra six inches on each side. So it might be a little bit bigger, but it'll still be pretty light. Okay, so we've got eight foot six inches. We're gonna go ahead and cut it and uh, we'll continue. Okay, so we've stretched the material out. We've put weights down on all of the corners. Okay, and what this does is this will allow us to kind of see what we're working with. The, uh, the material itself is about 60 inches wide, so I'm just gonna leave it because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this double-sided stick tape that came with it. This is a half inch thick, and we're gonna lay a perimeter all the way around and then fold those in. So we're gonna end up basically losing a half inch on all corners and that's gonna give us a hem around the edge, okay? So you can see here, here's a corner. We've done our hem with the double stick tape on both sides. And we've done this all the way around the entire sheet to give us a little bit stronger edge. So now what we're gonna do is on the corners, we're gonna go ahead and use Gorilla Tape and these plastic ties plastic bread ties here and we're gonna make some pullouts so stick around I'll show you how we do that all right so for this next part we're gonna put our ties onto the corners and we're gonna use Gorilla Tape a pair of scissors to cut it we're gonna measure out a specific amount and we're gonna use a hole punch to uh, punch a hole through that plastic once we get it on and that'll be our tie out and um, or stake hole, depending upon how you're going to use it. So let me show you how that's done. So we've measured out seven inches of Gorilla Tape. And I put a little mark on each side at the three inch mark. Um, and that is going to be where we're going to attach it. So we're going to carefully, and this is kind of hard to do because this Gorilla Tape is pretty, uh, pretty sticky. We're going to want to tack this end down in there. And then as best we can, we don't want to smooth that in there. Okay, and now we're going to take our little plastic thing. Okay, and we're going to put the, the little heart shaped hole just kind of right over that part, right over the tip there, kind of as centered as possible. Okay, and then we're going to fold Gorilla Tape so it butts up against it like that. Nice and smooth. I'm going to fold that back onto the plastic. Okay. So now we have this little plastic piece in there. 
That Gorilla Tape is pretty smooth on there. I'm going to take our hole punch and get kind of centered up in the middle there of that plastic piece. And we're going to try to punch through it. You can see now that we have our tie out with our hole in there for our stake or cord. And we'll just continue on doing this on all four corners and uh, then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here are the ends. We have one, two, three, four. I ended up using a leather punch to help me get through because my, uh, my hole punch was being a little reluctant. But uh, I will probably put another one on each of the sides there just to give it a little bit more stability. You can always just stick a small stick when you're out there to just hold it in place and not have to carry a, uh, a stake. These little small um, shepherd hook stakes will fit in there, but if you had like a small titanium one, it'll fit the holes just fine. As it is right now, this whole thing weighs 109 grams, which is not really too bad. Um, it's a pretty large sheet. Um, it's over four feet. It's probably uh, maybe five by eight, uh, four and a half by eight, something like that. You could use it for, um, you know, a tarp if you really needed to. And I have seen on uh, one of the forums out there that they used this same material. And it, it, since it comes in a two-pack that's uh, 210 inches long, they essentially put a seam down the middle and put the two chunks together and made a tarp out of it. I'm not sure how well it w would stand up, but uh, for 10 bucks, you know, it might be worth a try. So this is the... Uh, polycryo material from Frost King and uh, we'll have to take it outside and uh, stake it in the ground and check it out. Okay this is the uh, ground sheet all packed up. We have a total of six tie outs, one on each corner and one on each side made with the uh, Gorilla Tape and uh, those little uh, bread ties. I'll just give a size comparison here. This is Altoids tin, standard size. This is just a uh, a sandwich bag and um, it doesn't really take up much room and it doesn't weigh much at all I will put a the weight right in this area and we're gonna go outside and set it up and see if we get any uh, shrinkage on it um, it's about 90 degrees and the Sun is bright not a cloud in the sky so we're gonna go play with it and see what we can't do all right so here it is uh, set up in full Sun Apparently the birds like it because, oh, it's the second one that's come over here. Anyway, um, I mean, I've just had it up for like a minute, two minutes, and I don't know if you can see this, but underneath here, let me uh, let me show you here. So underneath, we're just getting a massive amount of uh, condensation. So um, maybe that might be a problem. Make sure to dry it out before you pack it up, I guess. Um, but you could also use it for, you know, collecting water, solar, still, something. If you really needed to. I think there's a lot of things that you could do with this. And uh, so we're going to play around with it. I'm going to set up my little bug bivy on top of it just to kind of get an idea as to see what it looks like. And uh, we'll try some other configurations and maybe use it like a small tarp and see what that looks like. So stick around. Okay, guys, here is a... Uh, Quick little layout for the uh, the bug bivy uh, trekking poles on either end with my just a little ridge line down there, and then it's staked out. Now this is the original bug net that I had made, and I made some adjustments to it to make it a little a little bit more user friendly. So there is not a whole lot of room in here, as you can see. I mean, this is pretty close to the ground but it's a bivy you know it's not designed to be comfortable I don't really hope to ever need to use it but it does work with the ground sheet which is what we're discussing today so uh, from this point we're gonna take the bug bivy down and um, maybe we'll uh, try setting this up as a tarp now, obviously it's clear 
so it's not going to help with the sun but uh, if it was raining you could set it up and uh, like a little mess or whatever and uh, use it for that so let's try setting that up and we'll see uh, how that looks all right so here we just kind of set it up like a little lean-to it's not very good if I was to do this in an actual live situation I would guy out the trekking poles a little bit better sorry about that but you can uh, you can see we just you know got a ridge line going across and uh, there's a decent amount of room that you could put in here the side shot back as far as I can to I mean essentially it's just the same as the same size as a mess um, obviously you don't get the sun protection but if it was raining and you needed to do it you could set this up in a variety of tarp fashions um, so it does have multi-use and it's pretty light so that is the uh, the polycryo ground sheet with gorilla tape tie outs now one thing you could do is this is only half of one sheet that box that I, I paid 11 bucks for 12 bucks for maybe had two sheets that were 60 inches wide and 120 or uh, 110 inches long so I actually cut one in half so I have two sections like this in theory if I really wanted to I could make a ridge line fold um, between the two sheets right here and then use the double-sided tape and make sort of like a flat felled seam and then you could gorilla tape all the way down and essentially you would have a you know 10 by 8 tarp or or basically whatever size you want I mean you could make it cut the fabric or uh, plastic to you know whatever you needed I don't know how well it would hold up but uh, we're gonna take it out on a, a trip and we'll see how it uh, holds up so anyway thanks for watching the little project and uh, if you make one of these go ahead and post up a video response I'd love to see it and see what other people are making and if you like this I got more stuff coming so make sure to subscribe thank you